The mission of our church, as you may know, is to grow in Jesus and to tell of his love. One of the best ways we do that as a congregation is our Bible information class, where we get to tell of Jesus' love with people from all walks of life and all spiritual backgrounds. Today on this Confirmation Sunday, we wanted to introduce you to a number of the people in our Bible information class whose lives have been changed as they got to hear of Jesus' love in our class. We hope that uh, you can welcome them with open arms into our church and see that our prayers and our offerings have not been in vain, but they have done great things to the glory of God. Uh, well, we first came to Eastside because of our daughter, um, at preschool, at pre-K. She did the 3K and then this year she does the 4K. Well, I first came to Eastside because it's uh, in my neighborhood. Um, and so we came and checked it out a few times. And I really love the message that Pastors Mike and Glenn um, portrayed. You know, it really gave off a great vibe and we were welcomed and thought this would be a place we want to come check out some more. I first came to Eastside um, by invitation. My son, Caden, actually um, participated in the summer soccer camp and um, he was a part of that and then um, I also came to put him, enroll him into the school here. I first came to Eastside actually with uh, my girlfriend. She, she introduced me here, she brought me here. Um, it, you know, I, my first experience was coming to a sermon um, just randomly, you know, coming with her to, to a service and I was really just blown away with um, the information that was packed into that to that one service and, and the enthusiasm and, and the people that surrounded it really just kind of blew me, like I said, blew me away, so. Um, I guess we first came, I guess because my brother was driving up the street and for some reason his car turned, hit the tree out front and died. And uh, I actually came in here to apologize for what happened and got to know Pastor Mike and Pastor Glenn, and I guess it was uh, very touching how much they wanted they wanted to help. The first day I came to Bit class, uh, I was driving here at about 5:45 a.m. and I thought to myself, I hope my father-in-law really appreciates this. Um, and then, but then I also thought that um, if Pastor Mike is willing to meet me at 6 a.m. on Tuesdays to fit my schedule, that's a really really good thing. The first. The day I came to Vic, I was actually thinking, oh my gosh, like, what did I get myself into? How is this going to help me come back to God? Um, but throughout the class, I learned that um, so many things that I didn't know. I don't know if I really knew what to think. This was my first experience really learning anything about the Bible in general. And, um, and I was excited because I've always felt like I didn't know enough. Um, Sometimes I felt like my four-year-old knew more than I did, so I was excited to show her up for once. And I was, I was like, you know, this is going to be interesting. You know, I was like, that's yeah, another class, and it ended up being pretty, a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. During Vic, God blessed me um, by showing me that I can trust Him, and He will be there to guide me no matter what. I think it, I think God blessed our family more more than just me personally. Just in just being able to see the kids take their Bible that they were able to get from from church and read it every night and follow along and kind of know just want to read it and on a nightly basis and, and just to see them kind of absorb all that. This was really neat to kind of see and continue to to see them do that and and kind of enjoy what they're reading. I think God blessed me uh, through my experience with bit class um, and helping me have a better understanding of my faith and what it means to be a Christian. You know, in the past I I had a faith and, and I thought I understood it. I thought faith meant, you know, having to go to service, having to learn the Bible, having to do these things. And I always looked at it like, oh, these are things I have to do to have a faith. And now through bit class, I'm looking at it like, these are things that I want to do. These are, I, I want to go to surf. I want to learn, I want to get in the Bible, I want to meet the people who are part of the church, I want to do all these things, and and it's not because, oh, I have to do these things to, because it's, you know, it's what you're supposed to do, it's because I want to glorify God, I want to show Him the praise, the thanks for, 
for everything that he's done for me. So uh, I want to join Eastside uh, because of the atmosphere, uh, the people, um, good pastors, a good message, uh, the fact that there's a school here, um, so we can grow. Uh, our son can grow up in a, a great environment. I think the atmosphere here is pretty awesome. I think everyone's really friendly when you go to a church service. Um, it, whether you know them or not, they're very friendly with you. It's um, very welcoming, and um, our family has really fallen in love with the church in general, the school and the church. The very first day, I came to big class, and you said that the sin, that you were like saying something about sins and stuff. And the first day, I'm like, I'm screwed. I'm not going to heaven at all. And then. I started to learn more about it, like forgiveness, and then I started to like forgive people more. And I think if I keep going to church, it will like make me a better person than what I am now. If somebody is nervous about coming to big class, I would just tell them to jump into it. Um, the rewards are amazing. You'll learn so much that you didn't know. Um, if you think you know some, everything about the Bible, um, you'll learn even more. I am actually am going to miss it <laughs> a little bit, you know, it was, uh, it's well worth the time you put into it. You know, you, you learn more and the connection that, you know, especially for a new member, that getting to know the pastors better, and you know, on the, almost a personal level, it's, it's outstanding, you know, you're able to appreciate church more. and kind of understand the message better, I guess. I would say to someone who's nervous that everyone's going to be nervous when it's about something that you don't know or don't completely understand. Um, so don't, you don't look at that as a reason not to do it. Um, look at it as an opportunity to, to really learn who you are, learn who God is, who Jesus is, and, and understand that better. Um, I think that you will get so much more out of it than you could have ever expected. Um, and you might have the highest expectations, but you will be surprised what you get out of it. It's a great, friendly environment. You don't have to feel uh, nervous about your knowledge in the Bible. You ne I never once felt that I was underqualified. Um, so just, just do it. Just jump in, um, have fun, and, and get ready to learn because you will.